brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. The Timuning Hotel is one of the few major resorts located away from the main Tumon tourism hub. The Sheraton Laguna Guam Resort was once the Palace Hotel that opened in 1991. It was purchased by Ken Corp, the owner of four other local hotels, and officially reopened as the Sheraton on April 20, 2007. General Manager Ben Cruz. We celebrate our 10th year, but Sheraton brand celebrates 80 years this year. Uh, so it is one of the most recognized names. Crew says business remains steady, but like the Guam market as a whole, the customer mix is changing. I'm sure you've seen in the last few years um, with Korea, uh, with now more flights that are available, uh, LCC, uh, low-cost carrier flights that are available now, you see a lot more people from Korea. The Korean Peninsula has been in the spotlight lately because of North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un's provocative rhetoric about missile launches and nuclear tests. It has sparked the U.S. to dispatch warships, including the carrier Carl Vinson, to nearby waters. And Cruz says local tourism officials are keeping a wary eye on the situation. It's not the first time that we've had, uh, you know, uh, the threats from the North Korea. This time I think maybe it's a little more... Uh, because of other areas like Syria that are happening. Um, so it's, I think everybody's a little bit more cautious. Crew says as of now, his hotel has not seen a slowdown or cancellation of any Korean reservations. For Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Leconto. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.